Hello everybody, good to see you again and welcome back to another episode of Snarana. And welcome back to Pedro Bay. Probably maybe the last episode in Pedro Bay for the minute. We might not get all the missions done, but I just want to do the, the basics, you know. I, I ended up getting the event best special in the last episode. Um, you know, we've got my Taz up here that's completely broken. Uh, with my bloody, where is it? My international load starts at 200 over there. Now, something I did forget to do in the last episode is I... I forgot to um, get the AMK-38, which is right here on the map. So, I mean, we'll probably have to go and grab that at some point. I mean, I assume. But for the time being, let's run some missions. So what we're going to be starting off doing is, I mean, obviously we've got the Tiger out here. Now, something I learned at the end of the last episode is at the end of this road, there's actually a uh, trailer store. So what we're going to do is we're going to go there, sell this trailer, and we're going to put on the stable bed to start hauling cargo around the map. And I think that that is going to be the best option. So we'll wrap this thing in high. And we'll get it going. Oh, good to be back. I was away for a couple of days. Went to went to watch the Grand Prix, the, the Grand Prix up in uh, up in Melbourne. Max Verstappen blew his uh, rear caliber out. His back right uh, disc brakes or whatever something happened, and Lewis Hamilton's engine shit itself. So it was I mean event eventful race. I enjoyed it. Ooh, wow, okay, this has two metal beams on it, that's just interesting. Alright, what I'll further ado, let's sell this thing, and we want this fella right here. There we go, let's back this thing up. Actually, I don't know what we'll do. You want to see a big brain play, how you can do? this thing back up. Now I have a fuel tank. That has two metal beams on it which is cool because so I might need that at some point. I mean I'll definitely need it at some point why else would they put it there. So we'll definitely have to come back and get that at some point. But maybe we won't get to it. We'll see. But I guess um, I don't know if I said this already but what I want to do I want to build the bridge, get rid of this landslide and there are some other like little down poles like along here that need to get done so we can transport the trailers. And just everything like that. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to actually going to go through with getting, like, everything done on this map. Just, I'm not really sure. I'll come back to it at some point, but I'm itching to kind of get to a... Actually, how do I even get there? So, I want to go down and around. Then I want to come through here. Like this. Grab this. Then I want to grab six. Um, so what I'll do is I'll grab five, then I'll use the crane to hold one, cross this little ice natural uh, natural bridge here, fix this with four, then the two will go here to fix this, then we'll come back here, grab more wooden uh, planks to deal with like the poles in that around the map. Alright, sounds like a plan to me. So we'll just get this going. Let's try and get through here without any dramas. I mean, yeah, like, I've pretty much gotten everything. I've got pretty much all the upgrades I want, all the trucks that I want to start moving to the harder areas. And I'm a little bit annoyed that I'm not, that I'm not rank 30. But at the same time, I don't think I really need to be. I always thought that, like, to go to Amy, you have to be ranked 30, you have to have every single upgrade in the game, every single truck available to you in the game. But I mean, that's not the case. The Mastodon is, like, the second If not the best, it'd be the second best, for sure, because, I mean, the 605R does give it run for its money, but the Mastodon does beat it in terms of how, like, it can, like, has more add-ons and whatnot. 605 is just a bit more capable than hard and stuff like that. So I know that they all have their pros and cons. 
but over time I do think that the 605R is a bit... How do they take damage from that, bro? I went over that slower than a snail. Anyway, like I said, I do think in the, um, in the, in the way I do things, like, I, you guys know I love my, my semi-trailer combos. So, I mean, I think the 605 bar would be the best option for that. And also, it's not an incredibly slow truck either. So, it would handle it completely fine. Well, it's good we're getting this rock side cleared on the bridge because now we don't have to traverse through this shit every single time. I mean, it's not, I mean, not that bad. I mean, this take is making live work a bit. But, uh, you know, yeah. I, uh, we explored drift in the last episode too, so. That was beautiful. Drift wasn't really anything special. A few upgrades there, but... I mean, we got a free Tales the Tyrant out of it. So that's always a plus. And... He made 140k. So, you know, I mean... Uh, is it Rift or Drift? It's going to be Rift. Rift is... Or is it Drift? You know what? It's Rift. Okay, Rift. Thought so. Yeah, Rift isn't really anything special. Not too many missions there. And there's more missions here in Pedro Bay than there is in Rift. There is a big semi-trailer that we can do. Ooh, that's down in there, isn't it? Let's fucking high gear and see if she'll do that. Come on, girly. Whack her in high gear and watch her go. As long as we can try to keep her on the kind of main-ish sort of stuff. We are, we should be fine. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's just lift this thing up. That, and now we just want to go uh, out here, cross this, unload that, then we'll hit this uh, landslide. Sounds like a bloody plan. This might be a bad idea, but we'll see if we can get through it. Uh, I mean, I absolutely love this truck. It's so good. It is the safety net of the game. Like, if you do, if you end up using this truck max upgraded, like, you, you won't want to use anything else. Like, it's got, it's, this thing with the high range gearbox is the best thing, 100%. With the max engine upgrade, the tires, the lift, um, and the, gear, and the high range gearbox, this thing, I love it. I never put the high range gearbox in this thing when I did my, in any of my playthroughs. This is the first time I've ever equipped it with the high range gearbox. And I absolutely love it. It is so incredibly good. Now this I'll drop off zone just up here. Alright, let's get this built. One, two, three, four. It looks like a pretty deep river too, so I don't think we would have been able to cross it anyway. Alright, task completed. Dangerous route. Yikes. Had no idea things were that bad. We're done lucky no one no one was on it when it collapsed. The planks you brought in will help us reconstruct the bridge and get it working again soon. Thank you. Well, we get 140 stars for that and 1100 bucks. So that is beautiful. So we're just getting onto crane mode real quick. Drop that off. Do a bit of uh, rub iron. Do like that. And then uh, rub no, like that. It's getting a bit dark, so let's put it back to the. Actually, let's put it morning. Why not? 6 a.m. in the morning, running some missions for Alaska. Got your coffee and your cup holder. Got the dog on the dash there. Okay, this is actually something I want to point out. I do want to download. Oh, bro, I, I, I don't incur. Like, is that cheating? I have no idea if it's cheating. 
I want to get the mod, right, that, like, has a dog in your passenger seat. You know the one I'm talking about? Like, it's a mod. It was, it came, to, like, it was one of the first mods added to the game. It doesn't, I don't think it does anything. But literally, it just puts a dog on your passenger seat. Now, I do want to do this thing completely vanilla, but... Is that, does that count as cheating or, like, using mods? I don't know if I'd break the streak. Or break the chain, like, I did it completely without mods. Like, you know what I mean? I'm, not, I'm just not entirely sure. I don't know. If, um, if someone's watching this, uh, let me know. Because if you don't think that it's cheating, then I, I want to get the mod. So that way, you know, we can have a little dog sitting there in the passenger seat with us. You know, we can just fuck him up when we roll over and whatnot. There'll be plenty of that when we move to Amy. Okey pokey, that's... Uh, we want... Class completed. Morrison's landslide. Great. With these supplies, we can now get to clearing the road immediately. Would have taken us weeks if you hadn't shown up. $230,000, Thank you very much. So we're just going to turn this off real quick. And what's next? We've got the elect fallen electric pole, which is up here. Now, I think we're going to want to take care of that because, I mean... I mean, there's a warehouse right here, so, I mean, we obviously want to try to get this done. Otherwise, it'll just, bloody be a hassle. So, we have the pole down, and then we have this Hummer mission, but I'm not too worried about that. And then, after that, uh, if we go into our contracts, country blocks we get from there and consumables we have to go back to mountain river okay pipeline repair service hub reactivation we have to do that and there's pipeline repair ah well that's perfect we can get the two metal beams from there and we need to deliver this to the pipeline um i actually think we'll do that now or do we do the pole this pole first and then we come back along here grab that trailer and then we can come along that bridge we just built come through there and then like that we can do that i think that's i think that's what i'm gonna do let's okay so let's we want to we want to turn back around go along the bridge like that hit that then come back drop it off right here come all the way back draw sell the trailer get this, bring it all the way back here and drop it off wherever it was, like here, over this side or up there, wherever the fuck it was. And we can uh, get this done. Alright, so without any further ado, let's... I want to go back... Actually, yeah, I think we'll just go, we'll just go straight ahead. If we go straight ahead, that'll be much easier and then we can just do across there. Okay. So we want to turn at this little intersection. Alright, right, we got this landslide cleared, so that makes things easier for us. And you know what, I might uh, actually just drop the trailer off once we finish the, uh, the mission. Oh wow, okay. The trailers. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I'll drop the trailer off when we finish this next uh, little task. Then I'll go back and I'll actually get a repair trailer, repair myself up completely, and give me some fuel. And then what I'll do is I'll um, I'll get those two metal beams, take them, do this first uh, contract, and then we can see if we want to move on to something else. I will, uh, I will show you guys, uh, how to get the A and K, uh, 38, whatever the bloody hell it's called. I, I mean, I don't really know, it's just, I don't know, it's just, um, what do you call it? it it's not even that good of a try, I mean, it, it's simple, like, 
yeah, okay, you've got your garage, I mean, uh, your gateway here, you literally just come right out here. You might have to go around this way, because if you come here for the first time, that landslide will be there. Come through here, come through here, come down all this road here, then come all the way down here, and it's right there. That is it right there. So it's definitely, it's not a hard truck here. I mean, in terms of um, the furthest map, I mean, yeah, I could, you can say it's somewhat difficult to get to, but not really, you can, I mean, this gateway isn't locked, you can come here whenever you want, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure. But, uh, yeah, if you want the truck, I mean, I don't really use it. I don't really see the, the, the real uh, benefits in that. So, yeah, uh, and then we'll just go along here. Uh, that's not the, yeah, get back on this. If I can get back on that harder stuff, I'll uh, get a bit more speed, there you go. This ice bridge should be... Oh, I, that was it. Are you joking? Ah, uh, rats. Rats. I thought, I, I, I thought that wasn't it. Ah, uh, bugger. Well, that is the way of the game. That's why I normally set markers, but... I just thought I was, I just thought I knew it all. Come on, come on, come on, turn, turn, turn. Ah, I'm kind of turning the wrong direction, but no, we'll make it work. We will make it work. <laughs> oh, right. We'll get this done. I reckon we'll do this one contract and then we'll, uh, then we'll, uh, we'll see what to do from there. Turn around, you fat pitch. Pitch. It's a new one. Pitch. I said P, miss. Pitch. Not B. I said Pock, you miss. With a P. Fucking love Jonathan Tonga. Before he got taken down from Netflix due to all that bloody stupid shit that went around the world back in 2020. Ugh, wrong road. The wrong side of the road. Do you reckon I can climb over that? No. Yeah, Jonah Joan from Tonga, and like all those other movies, like if you're not, well, not movies, uh, TV shows with, uh, what was his name? Chris something, it was Chris something, right? I'm not, uh, I, I can't forget, I, I forgot his full name actually, but, um, but yeah, he was, a uh, great TV shows. Oh, Chris Lilly, that was it, Chris Lilly. Yeah, like Jonah from Tonga, Summer High Tide, Jemay, Jemay is actually on back on stand. So, if you didn't know, but I'm sure all the fans of those kind of shows would have known that Jermaine's back on there. Um, yeah, all those things with Chris Lilly, I mean, they were just, they were just great shows. And then they all got taken down due to people saying, oh, it's racist, blah, 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 blah. All that stupid fucking bullshit. Like, seriously, it's just comedy. I was like, just... What the fuck do you have to be a bitch about? Just have a laugh. Obviously, it's not, like, on purpose to be racist. It's like, just fucking relax. Take a joke. Anyway, that, anyway, that ended up all getting taken down. Nah, it hasn't been added back since. Uh, do I want to take this road? No, then the big one. Anyway. Beside from uh, Chris Lilly. We haven't been on this side of the map yet, so... Oh, have we? No, we haven't. We, we uh... Actually, we have. Because we came through with our load style to get that hidden upgrade part. I mean, they... Uh, the developers are new, bro. It's like... The Envan Special is a must-have gearbox. So we're gonna... Put it... Relatively on an easy spot. But we're gonna make it a hidden upgrade. So it's... Worse. You know what I mean? It's like, just fuck you. Yeah, so I think I'm going to drop this uh, this trailer off right here. That way I'll be able to get back there quite quickly. And you never know, I might need the trailer over here at some point in time. I've only got 130 litres of fuel left, so... And there's that fallen power line. Oh, there it goes. Alright. Task completed. Pull down. Let there be light. Finally, thank you for your help. 
Who knows how long it would have taken for them to fix the power if it were not if not for you. We should really get these old poles replaced soon. 130 stars and 1250 dollars. Well, you're absolute welcome, my man. Oh, it was my absolute pleasure. Uh, well, I want to drop this tray off uh, quickly. I just want to park this in here. Because, like I said, you know, I don't know if I will be coming back here. I'm sure I will. Okay, so we'll detach that. And then I want to just quickly zoom back here. Uh, I want to start this contract. What was it? Was it pipeline repair? Yes, it was. Okay, so I want to uh, come back all the way through here. Um, and then get to there, repair myself, refuel. And, yeah. Okay, I'll just make this a bit easier for me so I know. Bingo. Okay. Alright, let's uh let's let's get going. One of the best speed on the trucks in the game. No, uh, this thing should absolutely blast now without any weight. Just kinda of try and stay on top of it. To be fair though, heavier trucks are better in the snow. But um I don't know. This thing still weighs yeah, it's just, I think it's just the perfect truck. Weighs the, the right amount, good power, good stability, good capability. Probably one of the best trucks for the low saddle crane combo. And there was no going wrong with it. You just put the high-end gearbox in it, leave it in high. You know, we're not getting, we're not even getting above like uh, seven liters per minute. Getting up there in the fives and sixes. So, you know, definitely definitely not bad on the field time here. High range gearbox is the play. I reckon the high range gearbox is the play for any truck that has always on dip lock and all wheel drive. Yes, because it doesn't need the low gears. So, it hurts your fuel and you don't need it. Look, the off road gearbox that gives you the low, high, and low minus is useless if you don't have dip lock. Always on. Or diff lock in general. If you don't have diff lock, you shouldn't do it. So yeah, for a truck like this, the home shoe box is the absolute play. Getting a bit low on fuel, but uh, we'll be we'll be sweet. We've got two other scouts here on standby, so we are we will be absolutely fine. Crawl over this. Quickly zoom over that. Come up here, and I'm turning left or right. I'm not entirely sure. Yo, this truck just looks like a beast with these monster truck tires. Uh, I do want to turn right. Alright. Get over this in high gear, come on. I was trying to like just like experiment with like just feathering and high, but I don't know. I mean, you can play with some modern trucks that have just in like absolutely crazy power. That like, you I mean you can put in high, right? Like from a dead stop, and it'll take off. So it just yeah, it's stupid. Fun mods out there, but I, I want to keep this. Play for a completely vanilla stock. Cause it's fun. It's fun in its own way. It's got it's. All right, just attach a trailer. And now I want to come back the way I came, but instead I want to drill. Okay, actually I don't want to go back the way I came. I want to come through here, cross this bridge. Then I straight after that we got to turn uh, left here. This come across the ice, uh, just the natural bridge. Come along this little muddy section, and that is that right there. Right, 
Let's get to it. Two metal beams. Yep, and we have two metal beams. Alright, let's uh, kick this thing into the high gear. And let's go. It's on the ride. So I'm going to back up here for a sec. Sorry guys, it's just a quick little thumbnail there. Oh, I wonder if that ever gets annoying for you guys just watching me take a fucking screenshot for the fun now. I don't know. I just can't be bothered to edit that little bit out. It's like, come on, you guys don't mind, do you? It's all part of the entertainment after all, so. Oh, my God. So, why do I do this? Why do I even record this? I could just be sitting here minding my own business. But no. You know, I've done this so many times in the past, it's... I don't know, not really trying to do it. I, I mean, I know I'm speaking like an idiot and probably being cringe at the beginning of these videos of like, what's going on guys, I'm working back to actually sounding like I actually care. Oh, I didn't get fuel. Ah, dope. Okay. I forgot to get fuel. Ugh. It's a bit of a heavy load. Bit of axle freeze. Okay, I forgot to um I forgot to get fuel. So I'm gonna detach the trailer. I need to turn back around quickly and get fuel. So no worries guys, just a little mistake, I'll uh see you guys back in the trailer. Alrighty fellas, just a little uh, little hiccup there, but you know what, we uh, we definitely needed to get fuel, we wouldn't have made it otherwise and then we would have been in an all new series of dramas. Yeah, I mean it wasn't the best backup, so understandable why you wouldn't be touchable. Uh, now this is a heavy load, as you can see there, a bit of a little bit of actual freeze there on the stupid stuff, so what we're going to do is we're going to whack it in new. We would have sunk down there faster than a cannonball in the ocean or something, I don't know. Use those my tires. Oh, come on. I got a wish on here for a reason, let's use it. There we go. I mean, a heavy load. Heavy load, she is getting hung up a bit. But, you know, all good. All goody goody good. Uh, come on, and I want to take a left here, correct? I do want to take a left across the bridge to the next natural bridge. And if I get a bit of speed, uh, no, come on. Yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. No, 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 no. There we go. That's what I want. Uh, let's drop it down to the first gear. We have a downhill section, downhill section here, so you want to take advantage of it. Come on. Yeah, alright. Shift into high gear, and away we go. Alright, let's hope we don't slow down here. Hopefully this current momentum through. No. I really don't, I probably don't need to be touching the winch, but I'm just doing it as a precaution. Stay strong, Winch. Uh, you won't grab high there. I oh, know. Heavy load. Got the trailer along with the metal beams, so. I understand definitely wouldn't be the lightest thing in the world, but you know. This thing has, what, like 180,000 torque in game units? Kick her up into a high idea. And we should be okay from here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
No, I just realised I might, uh, I might have to give it a little fun now on this natural bridge if I was, so don't mind me as I just pause the video, take a quick screenshot. Ooh, that could be good. But I reckon on top of the rocks. We get on top of the rocks. Yeah. Too. Uh, yeah, that's right. I'll cop that. Yeah, no, it's a bit low. There we go. Better. She grabbed high there. Good girl. Now, whether or not I'll have to come on, stay straight. Stay straight, come on. Grab that traction on the harder mud. And then turn left here. Keep the momentum, keep the momentum. That's it, that's it. Don't lose that momentum. Oh, you bloody dickhead. Ah, uh, yeah. All these videos are just for fun. And I play these games. Because I'm... And I should be doing better things like studying. But, um... No. Can't, I can't do that. Because I have, uh, I have missions to, to complete. You know, the, the virtual reality people with this game need my help. I can't leave them stranding. I made a commitment, so I thought her. That's right. Honk the horn. Let them know you're coming. This pipeline will be fixed, people. You will be able to traverse this land again soon. Now, like I said, talking to myself absolute cringy nonsense bullshit. Why? Because I'm recording this, I'm putting it to YouTube. Just like I said, because I'm bored and it's fun to do. Not because I want to. No, because I'm trying to be serious about it. It's just fun. So I'm going to switch it up with this, uh... Well, I'm saying playthrough because it sounds appropriate in a YouTube sense, but it's just... For, for just saying in my own text, the, this is for the seventh time I've played this. Um, oh, there's a drop-off point too. Yeah, for the seventh time I've played this, um... I don't know. It would have been fun to record, so... Uh, here we are, in my nice blue vest. It's kind of beating the shit out of that horn. Ugh. 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 When you forget your coffee? When you forget your coffee? Motherfucking stupid shit! Fuck! 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 Yep. I'd hate to forget my coffee trying to go through the snow. Alright, pipeline. Bit of a sudden stop there, but you know. It is what it is. One and two. There we go. Ah! Oh! Is that our... That's our second tick. Okay. Contract completed. Pipeline is operational. Pipeline repair. Thank you. I don't have to... Thank you. I don't have to tell you the agony of having a work crew standing around with nothing to do because of some boneheads in logistics. Well, I'm, uh... I, w I wouldn't say I'm any better, but at least I know how to drive a truck. So, there's that. Oh, look at that. I'm at, a, I'm at a million bucks up there in the top right. Anyway, we got 310 stars and $2,450. dollars That is a good enough payday for something that simple. Okie pokey. Right, that is that done. Now, what else do we have to do? Something... Oh! Alaska is done. Russia, done. We only have we Michigan. Right, okay. That's cool. Yeah, I'm happy. Uh, uh, Alaska is done. Well, that was, that was eventful. Okay, now we have the oil delivery. What's this? Service hub reactivation. That just takes the two consumables from Mount Valley and then the concrete box I can get from there. But I might even be able to get them from uh, Mountain Mountain River, sorry, not Mountain Valley. And then after that we've got cargo delivery. And that 
is this big motherfucker back to Mountain River, so that's... I don't know. That might be something to do in the next episode. Do these last couple missions. We have logging, which I'm not going to do. More logging, which I'm not going to do. More logging, which I'm not going to do. More logging, which I'm not going to do. We have this. And this. So these are just some, like, kind of... I mean, to be fair, though, that's... Okay, eight... Eight uh, parts of bricks and... Four parts of concrete slab, so it is a quite a bit of cargo. But, I mean, it pays us quite well. That also pays us quite well. Four, three large pipes, so that's going to have to be three trips, pretty much. From the warehouse... Delivered to the warehouse, Mountain River. Okay. Alright, well, I think that shouldn't be too bad because Mountain River is quite a small place. And it, um, it, uh, it's quite a small place and hopefully should be easy to traverse. But, you know, we've got all that to do in the future. Now, in the next episode, I've decided I'm going to do... What was it? Go do the service hub reactivation and then we're going to do this. And I think that will be a good send off for our poor old Alaska here. For the time being. Will we come back? Definitely. Um, but definitely not for a while. You know, it's that's one of those things with this game. Like, I was excited to get to Alaska. Now I'm, like, done. Got three ticks. Three ticks of Alaska. Done. Second time I've ever done that. Second time I've ever done that with this. I mean, I've done the, the playthroughs. Um, like seven t I've done like this seven times, the three original maps, but I never actually went all the way to get all the ticks. I just pretty much just did the main fun stuff, but still got that to do. Which is funny, because in the f my original playthrough, this was the first one to get three ticks. Actually, no, it was Alaska. Or was it? Ooh, actually, don't I think it was Tamiya, actually. I think I did Tamiya first, and then I went back. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll tell you exactly what happened. I did tame it, I wanted, and at the time there was no, like, Colopalincia hadn't come out yet. And I wanted to get the rank 30, so I came back, I finished Alaska, then I went back to Michigan. And did all that. I haven't even unlocked Island Lake yet, so. And that, that's all you really need to know about that. But, um, yeah. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and for those of you who are watching, probably like three of you. And the three of you that probably are watching, you have probably clicked off in the first ten seconds in the video. But you never know what the future awaits. Maybe these videos will actually become popular one day. But still, I won't become a YouTuber because that is not my plan. Unless I'm getting millions of views, then maybe I'll have a change of heart. But for the time being, this is that's uh, another video of Snowrunner. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And, you know, maybe share. I haven't said that yet in the video, so share the video if you've made it to this point. Because think, if you're hearing this right now, you're the only person that's going to hear this. So share the fucking video. Alright, dickhead. Cheers, ladies.